Another important part of your communication plan should be some language that specifies that you are both going to be resolved and committed to ensuring that you are updating and communicating the other party about the events that are taking place in your children's lives. Now that may seem like a very obvious thing. However, it is obvious to say less than obvious to actually implement, I have found. And parties in this area, this is an area that if when I have problems six months later, it's usually something to do with this part of their communication plan. Remember that when you were married, you had the convenience of being in the same home. And when your child came home with their backpack and it has a note from the teacher about parent-teacher conference or a science fair project that's due, it gets put on the fridge. And over the dinner table, perhaps you were able to communicate that event to each other. That's not the case now. It's going to take a concerted effort to ensure that you're taking the time to update each other about events that you become aware of as they pertain to your child or your children. Things like changes in soccer practice and little emotional events that may be happening, like if one of your children happens to uh, have a girlfriend or a, or a boyfriend and they have a breakup. Um, things like getting a great grade on a spelling test. We now have the technology, technology that didn't exist when I first became a mediator. Back then, this was even more difficult because we didn't have texting, we didn't have FaceTime, we didn't have smartphones. Now, very easily, we can send a message to our ex-spouse saying, FYI, our son just scored 100% on his spelling test. We can easily um, contact our spouse over the phone and say, please don't forget that the Science Fair project is due. There are some great apps out there. We have one that we obviously promote and feel works well for helping couples to um, communicate these events and do it effectively. But any of the, the technologies, uh, and even if you just use text messaging, make sure that you go out of your way to communicate the little things to each other. When your child gets a phone call from the other parent and they say to them, I heard you have some very, very good news about something that happened in school today. That child has an experience where one, they're being encouraged and they're, they're having their confidence built because somebody is complimenting them, specifically their parent, but there's something else that's happening. All of the negativity that resulted from the divorce can dissipate to some extent because they know the only way that dad could have known that I got 100% on my spelling test was that mom must have told him. And subconsciously, if he knows that mom and dad are talking at that level, the world becomes a safer place. Hopefully, you will take the time to communicate often about the littlest things with each other. And you'll find that your child will not just survive this divorce, but they'll actually thrive.